and happy Tuesday. Okay guys, so first of all, I may look a little bit different. So I've had my hair done recently from my hairdresser. So I've gone for a new look at the moment. So I don't have purple anymore and I've more gone to sort of blonde and brown. And this is my summer look guys. So this is me changing my hair for the summer. Okay, enough about me. So um, I have had a lesson today with one of my students and this student um, is from Japan. And when we had this lesson today, um, it was, she shared a story with me and she shared some thoughts and feelings about how she feels about her English. So what's happened is this student, she, um, she has a translation company and she um, translates documents from Japanese to English and vice versa. She's built the company up to a pretty good place where it is now. And in her daily job, she speaks English on a daily basis. OK, with her with her customers, with her clients, with her staff. She was so, so she's constantly using English. OK, now my student has been away for a family holiday for six days. My student has been away and spent some time with her family, um, still in her home country, but she spent some family time together. Now, in this time, my student spoke Japanese or English. There was absolutely sorry. My students spoke Jap Japanese or Chinese. There was absolutely no English. So she didn't listen to English. She didn't speak any English. She didn't hear any English. She didn't have any English communication at all throughout these six days. She was speaking in her native language and also the language that their family shares. OK, so there was no English exposure at, exposure at all. After this period, after six days, and my student returned home and she had a conversation with, she met up with one of her friends and had a conversation with one of her friends now this friend um is fluently speaks japanese so he's native japanese and also native um, american he's lived in both countries for a long time okay so he has has these this knowledge and experience and my student's friend said to her that her english has um it's her English has deteriorated. So her English has, has gone backwards. She's lost her English after six days, only six days. So the friend has met her and he said she was speaking English. And he said that, you know, you've lost you, you, your English has gone bad. Yeah, your English has gone bad because you haven't been using it or practicing. Well, this is what my student realized. She realized, well, wow, you know, I, I know the reason why. I know the reason why I sound so bad when I'm speaking English is because I haven't been speaking or using English over the past six days. She was quite shocked to learn that it was only six days that she was away, that she didn't use English. But when she returned to her normal job, her normal life, somebody else was able to realise that her level of English had decreased so rapidly in this short amount of time. Yeah, so she was told that her English has got bad and she was also given some advice. She was given some advice as to what she should do. So she was told that she should focus on daily conversation and also slang because this is what she's missing. OK, when she's speaking in English. So she was told or she was advised to watch basketball games. OK, listening to the commentary, watching basketball games, you're hearing da daily conversation and also slang. OK. Now, my student isn't particularly keen on watching baseball sort of games. So I suggested to her to watch comedies, watch UK comedy shows. OK, in there you're going to hear the daily conversation and you're also going to hear the slang words. And it's in a playful, more and it's a, more of a playful or, and more of an enjoyable activity for her to do rather than watching a sort of baseball game. So if she was to watch some UK comedy, she's listening to the accent and she's listening to the daily conversation and she's hearing the slang words that they're using. And I've also said to her, if she comes back to me with anything she doesn't understand, then we can go through that. And she was much happier with this advice and with this suggestion. Now, what I, I said to my student, I felt like I was interviewing her because I thought this was so interesting. It was so so crucial, such good information for her to share with me about her English and what, what's happened while she's changed routines. OK, so um, 
she said when I asked her when she came back I said how did you feel going back into your role and she said she felt quite she was okay with communicating throughout the week she said she realized when obviously when she met um met her friends that they even commented and said that her English has gone bad and I said well how are you now are you, are you okay now and she said well yeah and I said well how how have you fixed that how have you changed that around how have you because before she went away, my student has said to me that she, um, her vocabulary is so, so good. And she has so much vocabulary that she doesn't need to think about what she's saying anymore when she's having meetings, when she's having a conversation in English. So she said she hasn't had to translate from Japanese to English for a number of weeks. So this is the level that my student was at before she went away. She went away for six days and all of this was lost. It was like she reverted back to a beginner, but she had to pick herself up really quickly. So she reverted back where she had to translate again. She found herself translating again, whereas before she went away, she, she was over this barrier. She had to find the words after coming back. She had to find the words, what she wanted to use to express herself, whereas before she went away, this wasn't a problem. Okay. So she's realized that, you know, this six day break where she hasn't used any English at all has really affected her, affected her English level. And she can't believe that it's only taken six days and her English has um, decreased so rapidly. Yeah. But what, and I asked her, what have you done? What do you do? How have you brought your English back up now to a level where you're feeling comfortable again? And she said she said she started to immerse herself in her work where again she is having daily conversation and she also she had a meeting where she was speaking in English okay she had a meeting where she was speaking in English and then after that meeting she had a lesson with me and she said that meeting Deborah and also the lesson with you is helping me helping me to bring my English back again helping me to feel confident helping me to remember um, you know my English level and remember the vocabulary I knew six days ago before I went on this holiday okay guys so again so the message here is even though um you know we um find it hard we still have to try and even though we have busy lives I speak to uh, I deal with IT professionals and they're so so busy with their lives projects deadlines meetings travelings and, and traveling and everything else but it's so 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 important to keep the consistency consistency is key so wherever we're doing any you know any other activities we always have to try to remember to use and practice and keep our English skills up to date guys because this is the, because if we don't use English we will lose it and this is what's happened with my student she didn't use English for six days and she lost it and she, she reverted back to a beginner OK, so again, it's consistency. It's still trying to make sure, even if it's just snippets of time, still trying to make sure that we are practicing that English as much as possible. OK, guys, thank you for listening to me. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. See you all soon. Bye bye.